G'day legends, I hope you're all fantastic. We're gonna do a rack chorus comparison on today's video, and I wanna compare three of my personal favorite units, the TC Electronics 1210 Spatial Expander, Stereo Chorus and Flanger, the Clark Technic BBD320, which is a clone of the Roland SDD320 Dimension processor, and the Synthoma L Chorus. A massive thank you to my buddy Brian Hook for getting the Synthoma L Chorus to me, and to Verley from Past Effects for letting me borrow the 1210. Let's get greasy. <laughs> These three units are very different in the way they operate. The 1210 essentially has two independent modulation engines that you can combine in different ways. You can synchronize the LFOs, you can apply cross feedback processing. Each engine is essentially identical, but it has four different modes. The classic chorus sound from this is actually a setting derived from the manual. Speed at 0.5, width down the middle, delay just above noon, intensity pretty much to taste. You're on mode two, this is the Lukather chorus setting that a lot of people really, really like the sound of, myself included. I'll let you have a listen to what it does to a clean sound on here. Then I am going to introduce the second engine with different settings. Just to give you an idea of some of the possibilities, I have an in-depth video with the 1210 that really gets into this stuff, but this is pretty much the signature sound. <laughs> is a clone of the Roland SDD320. This is caveman proof because there are no knobs, there's no complicated user controllable behavior on here, even though there is some complex behavior happening with the circuitry. Basically, you have four buttons that you can press on here. You can press multiple buttons together, but uh, I pretty much like mode three on the dimension on here. So let's just have a listen to what it does. <laughs> L chorus is a different animal. You have two LFOs that you can blend together and three delay lines. You can control the offset between the voices as well. There's a 120 degree setting, so like a stereo tri chorus where the respective LFOs on the delay lines are 120 degrees out of phase. This is gonna give you a very rich, natural and organic sound. You can get some dimension style sounds out of this by disabling one of the voices and using the 180 degree setting on there for the phase. So what I'm gonna do is bring all three voices in. I'll set this to 120 degrees, which is where I had it. You can also add EQ to each of the delay lines on there and again, blend the different LFOs. This has a really unique sound. You can get 1210 style stuff out of it. You can get dimension style stuff out of it. But again, the beauty is in all that control on there. <laughs> Thank you. 
cool thing about the L chorus is that you can pan each delay line where you like it and you can adjust its level. So if you are a tweaker and you love dialing in super customizable modulation sounds, that one is pretty hard to beat. And again, on that 120 degree setting, you're kind of doing some similar stuff to what the Dimension does just without the Dimension processing, but you do have the EQs on the delay lines there. So that is probably the most versatile one in that it can cop what the 1210 is doing and a bit of what the Dimension is doing, but they all really have a unique character to them. So let's hear them side by side. I'm gonna to attempt to play the same thing with a clean sound and a dirty sound. Just on my favorite settings, again, the 1210 and the L chorus are so customizable, which is one of their strong points and probably to a lot of people, possibly a weak point. Similarly with the Dimension, so easy to use. You just put it on your favorite mode and it gives you this super lush wide sound. The drawbacks on it are that it's two rack spaces. It's kind of massive in this format and it's not very tweakable if you don't like the preset rate and depth. Let's go. to the last section of the video, the price and availability, the used prices on 1210s is quite frankly ridiculous, seeing them sell for nearly 2000 Australian dollars when a lot of people just want them for that chorus sound that they're doing there. While it is fantastic, I don't think I could ever justify that much money on a single chorus. The TC Electronic Stereo Chorus and Flanger does get super close to this. I've put them side by side, and essentially what it sounds like to me is the 1210 gives you greater control over the delay time as well as the overall modulation depth in there. But you can get settings on the SCF that sound quite similar to the 1210, and you can get the 1210 to basically cover everything that the SCF does. Of course, with the dual engines on here, the 1210 is gonna do a lot more than a single SCF, but TC do make a reissue of that SCF that is quite affordable, especially compared to this. On the flip side, we've got the BBD 320, which is very affordable. I paid less than 250 Australian dollars for this new, which is actually cheaper than the Boss Dimension C was a craft which has an SDD 320 mode on there. The boss sounds fantastic and it's a lot more compact between that or the BBD 320. If you just want an 80s style chorus, they are the units that I would recommend. You know, this does take up two rack spaces. It looks really cool though. So if you want to build a big rack and you want to have a great sounding chorus just to add some width and grease, I would highly recommend that one. Otherwise, if you want something a bit more compact, the Wazacraft Dimension C is fantastic. And I love the way both of these units sound. It's a pretty unique effect on there. It's like chorus for people who don't like chorus. That brings us around to the L chorus. This one is just incredibly hard to find. I'm so lucky to have this one here. Big shout out to my buddy, Brian Hook for sending this one out to me. And this has a really unique architecture. This, I guess originally the circuit was designed to be used with string synthesizers. So just kind of give them some more texture and more of an organic feel, but it sounds amazing on guitar. I don't have a tri-stereo chorus available at the moment. That would have been perfect to throw into this mix, but 
for me, this kind of hits the spot where it has that tri-stereo chorus thing with the 120 degrees LFO offsets, the three delay lines, and the tweakability in there where you can set the level, pan, and EQ on each voice. And I feel like the L chorus is the one that allows me to be the most creative and it makes me want to chase new sounds. The way I think about the two LFOs is like the horn and the drum on a rotary speaker where they might be spinning at different rates and you might mic them up in different places. It's super unique. Uh, the demo that I did with this, I talked about how impressed I was just with the overall tone of that particular unit. The drawback again is it's really hard to find. They are getting quite expensive now and it is really, really specific about the input levels you send into it and it is quite hard to gain stage to get it so that when you bypass it, it doesn't either distort or lose a bunch of signal on there. So things to keep in mind. So in summary, if money isn't an issue, and you're a fan of 80s rack sounds, the 1210's really, really fantastic, and you can do some creative things with it. If you don't want to spend much money, but you want a rack chorus, the BBD 320 every day of the week, the Boss Dimension C was a craft. If you don't want to take up so much space, you know, just stick it in the back of the rack and leave it on all the time. And if you want something quite unique and out of the box for guitar tones, you really like modulation, but you want to be able to get that smooth 80s grease. Maybe you want something that's sort of dimension-like, sort of 1210-ish, sort of tri chorus -y, with its own unique thing on here. You can get some great rotary style sounds out of this. The L chorus should definitely be on your radar. And with that, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Which one of these units did you like the sound of the most? And what's your favorite chorus or modulation, whether it be rack pedal or plugin based. I would love to hear from all of you. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, links to my music and my Patreon are in the video description. Otherwise, have a great day, keep it greasy, and I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.